Hey, it's Ape from AI Synthesis, here to show you the new AI06 stomp box adapter. I've got rings doing a very basic patch, just doing pitch and triggers, and that's going direct in. So we're going to run that through some stomp boxes, both with and without using the stomp box adapter, and we'll see what it can do. Hope you like it. So, as you can see, I'm a big fan of pedals. Once I learned I could build them, I just started building more and more and more of them, and now I have this. That's the Eurex side of the desk, and on the right is the patching side. We've got rings going out, going into the Tube Screamer clone, and then that's going back from the Tube Screamer clone directly into the Apollo into a line level input. All the pedals are patched up, because I'm a nerd. This is it direct, true bypass. Turn it on. It's quieter and sounds not great. That's the sweeping of the drive knob. And I'm turning it back to normal. I'm not touching volume. And then here's the tone knob. What we can see is we're not getting a ton of difference in the sweeping of that. Now we're back to true bypass. So now we have the same rings patch, but this time it's going from rings into the input of the AI06 stomp box adapter. And then it's going from the FX out into the tube screamer and then back into the from effects. And then from the from effects, we're going back to the output. Still true bypass, same settings as we played with before. So now we're gonna turn it on. And you'll notice, well, hey, it's louder. It's more than just louder because we're dropping the impedance before we send it in to the stomp box. We're giving the stomp box what this particular circuit looks for. Um, and so when we mess with the drive, we not only get uh, more detail, we get more variation. The same is true with the tone. Before the knob didn't seem like it worked at all. Now we get a huge thing of difference. There's different ways to do this. You can do this with a mixer to lower volume and then raise it if the return has enough uh, boost. Uh, this is just one way if you don't want to mess with those settings. To further illustrate the point, uh, I have rings going direct into the pedal board again without the stomp box adapter. This time it's going through a bunch of pedals and we'll see what that sounds like. Uh, again, just fr direct from the Apollo. Now we're going to patch it in just using the stomp box adapter. And it sounds way different. Um, part of the reason is because there's a lot of pedals, a lot of them are analog, and depending on the circuit, you may or may not notice a huge amount of difference with the stomp box adapter, but when you're using a lot of pedals, you'll definitely see a huge difference. So that's the AI6 from AI Synthesis. It's out now, you can build it, you can buy it. It's in 2 HP, uses about 14 milliamps on the positive and negative. And uh, it's a really useful circuit if you like to use stomp boxes, especially analog stomp boxes in your setup. Thanks for watching. There's a lot more information at AISynthesis.com as far as what the circuit's actually doing and why it's doing it. Thanks for watching.